I, I might be wrong. You can actually use 16, but let's let's do it another way. Uh, so this is uh, to show this gamma. Gamma factor. This is n plus one plus i b. This looks like it's of the form of that one, but uh, but the right hand side doesn't seem to work out. And it's not not obviously not obviously to work that way. Uh, well, I'm mean, just not doing it right. But anyway, uh, we can use the property of the. Um, Of the gamma function, so, uh, so gamma c plus one c c so in this case, uh, z, we we want to use that uh, we want to reduce this one. So there's a one here, so that C C becomes M plus I beta in this one. So without taking the absolute value first, this this consider the gamma thing. Gamma. So this uh, writing in, in the textbook here is M plus I B plus M B M plus I B. And then multiply that down or then so this is this is just applying this to here. So Z is N plus I B. Right. And now we can continue doing that. So that equals to N. Plus I B and then N minus one B right and that becomes a N minus one I B right. and so on. So we'll, we'll keep doing that. And we'll keep doing that until the, until we get the, so each time we apply this is reduced by one. I want to reduce it to n by n minus n. So there's a, the first one will be minus one. This, you apply again with the n minus two, and then keep doing that. Eventually, you have n minus um, n minus n plus i b, which is down to i b. Right, and then you can see that how many terms this is. Uh, so this is zero. Right. So how many factor here? So this 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 is n and this is from one to so this minus one to minus n so this n factor and then one of them so n plus this n plus one factor over here. Okay. And then uh, this gamma just the gamma i b. Okay. And then now the idea is uh, work out this gamma IP. And the reason to work out is that uh, because of this, the, the factor in the, in the question, the cinch factor, which is, uh, it looks, uh, it looks like you need to apply the other formula. Uh, 
I think you can apply the 13 point. Thirteen point twenty three. Or just another form which is similar. Or you can convert that. So this is. Just from uh, 13 point in this one is gamma z, from gamma one z, so that equals to i over sine i z. Okay, so that's that's this one. But uh, we can apply this one to this one and reduce this by one. So this equals to gamma z. Um, minus C and times minus C. Right? So you choose, uh, this is one, the minus C is a C, Z, so that's the minus C down, minus C, minus, minus, minus C, that equals to this one. Okay. The reason to do that, uh, because I have the ID here. So, uh, so Gamma ID, a pine Z goes ID here. Minus ID would be equals to pi and divided that to the other side, minus ID, and then sign of. Um, I Okay, so so far so good. Uh, but I will recognize this is uh, gamma i b is, is a compact number, and then times is complex conjugate, which is just absolute value. Which is what we want later, because we, we later on we need to take that so that's absolute value. Okay, but uh, now the, the right hand side, we need to work out sign of this one. So this is sign. Let's, let's work it out sign of i something to i of. It's e to the i of. i of over to i. Which is uh, this becomes minus alpha, which this becomes alpha, and then divided by two, this is minus sinh alpha, and then you divide it by i of sinh. I just work out this formula. If you remember this formula, you can use that directly. So this becomes a I sinh, and then I times minus I is so that becomes pi over B. And the rest is sinh over B. Okay, so that is this one. That is this one. That is the absolute value square. So, uh, so now we're going back to here, and the question asks for the absolute value. So we need to take the absolute value. That's I B plus one. So if the absolute value of of them and so there's uh, there's an n and there's uh, there's n minus n 
and this is this has become zero, and then there's an n minus one, and then there's an n. So I well, I can say it's uh, because finally your tech asks for infinite products, and then infinite product f b squared plus s squared to the one half, which is the absolute values. So, um, the final term is is uh, n. The, the the first term is zero. If we call this a a, a value s. This is s equals to zero, and this is s equals to n minus one. This is s equals to n. So I can write that as a infinite part of s from zero to n. And each one, uh, I'm taking absolute value. The absolute value is the real part squared, so s squared. And then plus the imaginary part square is b square, and then take one half, take the square root. Okay, so this, uh, all this uh, absolute value, and the absolute value of this is the square root of that. So it's pi, it's the square root of pi over, uh, pi over b. Uh, it's a little bit different from uh, oh, did, did I miss a factor? I, I might have missed a factor. So this is this one. Uh, Did I miss it? Uh, and then the fact is not not the same. Uh, the the text will actually start from s equals to one. Okay, if you start from s equals to one, then you have an extra factor of b square with square root, which is just uh, you can multiply b squared over here, so it becomes b. So yeah, it's, it's just the same. It's just the textbook writer is from s from one to two. I did not to one to n here. So then s squared plus b squared and here. And the s equals zero factor is just b squared square root so multiplied into the into the b the square root factor becomes a b in the Numerator pi b over such okay, so 